Welcome to the Interwebs. I'm Tim Green. This is my writing channel, and I might have the pen name Tim RG. You are listening to the Skyler Grant Podcast. This is the reading of my only pants novel called The Chronicles of Skyler Grant. We just shortened it to Skyler Grant because, well, I forgot to put a title page on, and Adam just said, What's the title? No, you just said Skyler Grant. Yes. So that's how it became that. And. This is a very, very, very first draft, unedited. Like there's like, yeah, you just listen. You'll oh yeah find the first sentence. There'll be something grammatically wrong. Oh, there'll be something or something. I forgot a word or something. So, and so Adam is from ZOP Gaming. He's reading a chapter each episode. We are currently on chapter twenty three. I'm excited for the next few chapters. Um. I can't wait for these ones. But so we're going to be reading this one in a second. Afterwards, we will discuss the chapter as well as how it ties into everything we ha- that's happened before and um, anything that Adam wants to shine a bright light on and me just trying to figure out what was I thinking um, I, when I wrote this? Why did I write it this way? There's, there's going to be a few of those moments in this chapter. I'm certain of it. Um, but before, Adam, we get to the reading. Before. Yeah. Before. Uh, if you go on to enjoy this video, I would love it if you would go and hit that like button as a prayer to the holy algorithm. The holy algorithm. You know, and subscribe because I do got some writing content on here. But with that being said, Adam, when you're ready. Skylar Grant, written by Tim Green, narrated by Adam Daly. Chapter 23. The rattle of steel against the cold cement walls echoed through the room every time Skylar moved his arms. The cuffs around his wrists were tight to the point they were almost cutting off his circulation. The silver cuffs were attached to two thick chains that raised up to the top of the wall high above Skylar's reach. Several days have passed since he was caught. The thoughts of how he was caught ran through his mind and and couldn't believe that he was so stupid to allow this to happen. He did not even know where he was. Little light entered his cell, just enough to see the room is plain. When he first woke in this prison, he tried to escape by firing the energy like he did in the police station. But his chains prevented him from putting his hands together. Skyler knew there was another way to use his energy, but he had yet to have a chance to practice. The next thing he tried was his, was us his telekinetic ability to free his chains, but chains were fastened tight, gent- greatly into the wall. Even with a combination of his telekinetic powers and his strength, was not enough to break the chains. After a few days, Skylar Fre- finally gave up trying to get free. He knew it was pointless. Every few hours, someone would come in and give him food to, in- to eat and water. Other times, people would come in and hold him down and take blood samples from him. Like his energy, Skylar had not learned to use his telekinetic abilities without his hands. Skylar could not believe that he let himself rush through training once his abilities became active. He was overly confident that he had a card to play they would not be ready for and did not take the time to learn to use his abilities to their full potential. The days blurred together. Since the light that poured into his cell was not sunlight, Skylar realized that after the second day when the light never changed direction, it was only after a few days that he could figure out a new day had started since they were all the same. The day would start out with the guards bring him his breakfast. Once he finished, they would come and take a blood sample from him. The next time he would see someone was when they brought him lunch, then dinner. Two hours after dinner, ten armed guards would come and escort him to the bathroom where he could shower. But they had special restraints put on him so he could not bring his hands within a foot of each other. The only difference in in his day was randomly people would come in and take spinal fluid or hair samples. Also, whenever he need to go to the bathroom... The ten guards would escort him. A week and a half had to have gone by since he was captured. Skyler knew Jin would be looking for him by then, but could not count on him. Skyler knew training 
and took every chance he could focus. And that only time he had was when he was when he bathed. Every night in the shower, he focused, trying to focus using his energy with his hands far apart and practice using his telekinetic ability to stop the water from hitting him from behind. Skylar knew he had to be discreet. If anyone discovered what he was doing, they would instantly stop him. Finally, the, chi- the time had come. He was going to escape. He could not take being prisoner anymore. After two weeks of doing the same thing, Skylar put his escape plan into action. The guards came to unhook him with nine automatic firearms with tranquilizer darts on him in case he did anything. Once he was free, they locked him into, into his restraints that he will be in while he showered. They were made of extremely durable cloth, something that had no give. It was white and made it hard to roll his wrists. It was so tight. The ten guards walked him down a long hall until they reached the bathroom. Two guards walked him inside, gave him clean clothes, soap, and shampoo. They turned and left through the only entrance into the room. No windows, a small vent that was no bigger than two inches high and six inches wide. Skylar did not waste any time. He quickly pulled off his clothes, jumped into the shower. Once he had finished showering, he changed. He threw himself into the locker, sending a loud bang through the room. Help! shouted Skylar. The door flew open. Two guards came into the room, saw him down the white tile floor. Both guards walked over to him, each grabbing under his arm and lifted him to his feet. Thanks! Skylar shot his arms out to the, to the side as fast and as far as the restraints would let his arms. Two guards did not have time to pull their firearms up before they flew through the air, slammed into the far walls on each side of Skylar with a loud bang. The door flew open seconds after the bang. The band echoed through the room and the remaining guards outside heard. They did not come in foolishly like you would see in the movies. They had their firearms up ready to shoot the second they saw Skylar. But luckily, his practice came in hand. A second after the door flew open, the first two guards fired the second they saw him. But they did not see what he was doing. A ball light appeared in his hand, slowly moving with fluidity. The darts plunged into this ball, but nothing happened after that. Skylar smiled and jerks his hand forward, throwing the ball of energy them. The ball slammed into the chest of the first guard, forcing him back through the door knocking the other guard with him. Both guards hit the wall as the energy ball erupted just as the door to the bathroom swung closed. Skylar feel the the room shake. He waited a few seconds before he ran to the door, opened it to see the effects of his energy. The eight guards were scattered around the hall. They looked alive, but he was not sure and did not stay around to see if they were. He ran to his right down the hall until he came to an intersection. He could continue to straight or turn left. He took the left and continued down, passing other turns until he came to some doors. Skylar tried to open them, but they were locked. At the moment, a siren started to blare through the hall as a red, red flashing lights went off. He knew that they now knew he was free and would be after him. With a little time, Skylar took a few steps back, focused on the handle, and using his right hand up and focused on the door. The door started to rattle a little until it was completely shaking. When a light above the door went from red to green, a slight sound of the latch unlocking. Skylar walked over to it and opened the door and continued down the hall after it. He... He didn't get far before the door's open at the far end with guards he quickly shot down the right turn he reached he reached end where he was forced to turn left as he rounded the corner he saw five guards protecting a door they saw him and raised their firearms to fire but skyler rolled to his right into a deep impression that was a door he tried to open it but it was locked unlocked the door that was mechanical this one was old-fashioned that did not need a key card, 
just a key. He focused on the lock, and in a second, he heard it unlock. Skylar yanked it open, ran into a giant room. Skylar could not believe what he was seeing. This room was the size of four gyms with different kinds of equipment, from obstacle courses, two platforms that had two large Q-tips that he was sure was used to try to knock the other off their platform. Then there were ropes to climb up to the top as well to higher platforms, then swing down onto a huge mat. He stopped a few seconds to take in what he was seeing, when he knew he had to find a way out. He scanned for a door. He spotted one up in the far right-hand corner. He took off towards the door when every door but the one he was headed for opened and guards poured into the room. They quickly surrounded him with, with his firearms raised, ready to fire. <laughs> Skylar stopped only to examine this new obstacle in his way. He realized that he was going to have to fight to get out. With his hands still in his restraints, it was not going to be easy. He quickly put his hands together as he closes he could and started to form a ball of energy. The guards fired all at the same time. Skylar closed his eyes only to open them moments later. All around him, the darts were stopped around him. He could not believe he actually was able to do it. They focused harder and the darts started to shake in the air before falling to the floor. Skylar was disappointed he could not turn them around and fire them back at the guards but he did not dwell on it. The ball of energy he held in his hand had gotten bigger. He knew he could not hit all of them with this, with this ball, and he was not sure he could stop another round of darts. For some reason, they had not fired again. He thought maybe him stopping them made them think twice about it, or what would happen to the ball of energy if he did get hit. This pause in the action was exactly what Skylar needed. When an idea popped into his head... The ball he shot at the guard outside the bathroom exploded and bounced around the hall. He looked down, knowing he had no other choice. Skylar took his hands and the ball of energy and slammed the ball into the floor. The energy hit and shot out like a wave, smashing into the guards at the same time, throwing them through the air. As the energy wave hit the wall, the Who room shook. Dust fell from the top for a second. Skylar thought the room might come down. But after a few moments, the room stopped shaking. Every guard was down, still not sure if they were alive. He took off towards the door that was still closed. He reached it, opened it, and was outside. When he felt something go into his neck, Skylar turned to see a man in a shirt and tie standing to his left with a needle. In seconds, everything went blurry, and he fell to the ground. Skylar started to wake up, but everything was still blurry. A few seconds went by when he realized his hands were back in chains. He focuses his eyes only to see what he was way too familiar with, his cell. But he was not alone. It took a few moments to realize someone was sitting in a chair to his immediate left. With longer hair, nothing like down to his back or every shoulder just past his eyes. He had a white shirt and a red tie. I have to say, I am impressed, said the man. Why? You were able to increase your skill at your abilities under our noses to the point you almost got away. Ha! laughed Skylar. What's so funny? asked the man with a stern face. You seem to think that think I was trying to get away. How do you know that I'm not luring you out? What do you mean? asked the man standing up and walking over to him. I know how Daniels works. There was no way he was going to catch me. But I did get caught, meaning someone else had to be behind it. What makes you think I was not forcing you to show yourself? I will say you are a smart one. But I can tell you are going nowhere. Your little escape attempt, regardless if it was to get me to reveal myself or not, 
showed your trump card and now able to counter it before you can even do anything. With what we have learned in the last two weeks from just your samples, we will soon be able to unlock other genes and then be able to give others the gene already active. Once we have what we want from you, we'll have no use to use because we will have abilities and you will be exposed of. The man turned and walked across the room, banging on the door that echoed in the room. The door opened. Skylar could not believe what he saw. The hall littered with guards outside. Whoever this man was, he was right. He would not be going anywhere. They would be looking for any sign that he was using abil his abilities and would put him down. The man walked out and into the hall and the guard quickly closed the door, while his plan to force whoever was behind this to capture to reveal himself, it looked like he also ruined any chance of getting free. Skylar was still tired. The drug that he was injected was far stronger than the ones he was they used to take down Jenna. He closed his eyes to let the drug run through his system and figure out what to do when woke up. What? shouted Skylar, snapping to, to wake. Everything was blurry. He did not know what was going on. He felt something shaking him. He looked around, but his eyes had yet to focus when he heard a familiar voice. Skylar? Said, said a girl voice. Skylar focused his eyes in a few seconds. The blur of whoever was in front of him came into focus, and he could not believe it. Jenna stood before him. Something was different about her, but he could not tell. Her hair was pulled back into ponytail. She wore a black tank top with ready, with black cargo pants and boots, but looked like ninja boots. She looked like some kind of assassin ready to kill someone. Thankfully, it was not him. How did they find you? Asked Skylar. How did you know they found me? Asked Jenna. You hear how else would you be here? <laughs> You're going to be surprised. I am here to free you. What? At that moment, he noticed that he reached for something on her back. She pulled out from her back a long katana blade. With one quick movement, she swiped across the chains holding him to the wall. The feel to his side. Skylar was speechless. He looked up to see part of the chains hanging. How? I will explain later. We need to get out of here now. Easier said than done. Actually, harder to say than done. Said Jenna as she wrapped her arms around him and pulled him tight. In a second, he saw the door then... Nothing but darkness. I have to say, I am impressed, said the man. Why? You were able to increase your skill at your abilities under our noses to the point you almost got away. Ha! laughed Skylar. What's so funny? asked the man with a stern face. You seem to think that, think I was trying to get away. How do you know that I'm not luring you out? What do you mean? Asked the man standing up and walking over to him. I know how Daniels works. There was no way he was going to catch me, but I did get caught, meaning someone else had to be behind it. What makes you think I was not forcing you to show yourself? I will say you are a smart one. But I can tell you are going nowhere. Your little escape attempt, regardless if it was to get me to reveal myself or not, showed your trump card. And now, able to counter it before you can even do anything. With what we have learned in the last two weeks from just your samples, we will soon be able to unlock other genes and then be able to give others the gene already active. 
Once we have what we want from you, we'll have no use to use because we will have abilities and you will be exposed of. The man turned and walked across the room, banging on the door that echoed in the room. The door opened. Skylar could not believe what he saw. The hall littered with guards outside. Whoever this man was, he was right. He would not be going anywhere. They would be looking for any sign that he was using abil his abilities and would put him down. The man walked out and into the hall, and the guard quickly closed the door. While his plan to force whoever was behind this to capture, to reveal himself, it looked like he also ruined any chance of getting free. Skylar was still tired. The drug that he was injected was far stronger than the ones he was, they used to take down Jenna. He closed his eyes to let the drug run through his system and figure out what to do when woke up. What? shouted Skylar, snapping to, to wake. Everything was blurry. He did not know what was going on. He felt something shaking him. He looked around, but his eyes had yet to focus when he heard a familiar voice. Skylar? Said, said a girl voice. Skylar focused his eyes in a few seconds. The blur of whoever was in front of him came into focus, and he could not believe it. Jenna stood before him. Something was different about her, but he could not tell. Her hair was pulled back into ponytail. She wore a black tank top with ready with black cargo pants and boots, but looked like ninja boots. She looked like some kind of assassin ready to kill someone. Thankfully, it was not him. How did they find you? Asked Skylar. How did you know they found me? Asked Jenna. You hear how else would you be here? <laughs> You're going to be surprised. I am here to free you. What? At that moment, he noticed that he reached for something on her back. She pulled out from her back a long katana blade. With one quick movement, she swiped across the chains holding him to the wall. The feel to his side. Skylar was speechless. He looked up to see part of the chains hanging. How? I will explain later. We need to get out of here now? Easier said than done. Actually, harder to say than done? Said Jenna as she wrapped her arms around him and pulled him tight. In a second, he saw the door, then nothing but darkness. <laughs> so were you confused at all where they were? What was going no, on? No, I, I kind of, I, I mean... It's a maze of a building, so yeah. it totally makes sense that you don't really know where you are or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Skylar doesn't really know where he is. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. And the fact that you you kind of, you dressed the room, you were like, the door is across from him. Yep. Okay. Well, because we didn't have any action sequence for me to move the door in a different no. position. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. So, oh, trust me, I got a few notes here. Oh uh, my god, the amount of times where I was like, the hell am I saying? I know. That, that, this chapter was horrible for grammatic and lis missing words. Oh, absolutely. Uh, okay, so first one, I have to bring this up. Yes. Because the way it's written, um, it makes it sound like strength, new superpower? Yeah. Because he's like, it was all his strength well, and telekinesis. Wait, he has super strength now? Uh, also, the fact that he's able to use his telekinesis and his, and, you know, even the little bit of strength. And then Jenna at the end is like, one second. Shing! Slice. Done. <laughs> I know. And you're like, how did you get that kind of skill? It's been... <laughs> Two, Two weeks. weeks. Or has it? Or has it? It has, because we said, um, Dr. King actually says yeah. it was two weeks. But I wrote down this. Um, it's been about a week and a half. 
then two weeks. So nearly a month <laughs> or three days. So apparently it took him three days mm-hmm. when he starts training mm-hmm. to get to the point where he can then escape. Mm-hmm. Which would fit with the idea that he can learn faster. But nowhere in this fucking book do no. I mention that's his power. No. It was something I added later on while I was fleshing out for the stories for this that I decided to give him that power and it was it became his first power. And there was our spots in here that like, oh, that could have been that. But it's never He's a genius. He's he's you know, when he figures out how to do something right, he will always do it yeah. that way. But it just happens to be cons- a rewrite would easy to put oh, yeah. that in there um, versus putting in there for the first time. But like, but still, with this, it's like, oh my god! But the fact again, he remembers, he realizes, finally, a bit of doubt in Skylar. Why did I rush my training for so long, so quickly? Yes. Why did I pull a Luke Skywalker and yeah. have one week of training? <laughs> yes. Um, and expect to win and never be hurt. All because I have a trump card that they don't know about. Yeah. Um, you gave up your trump card. Yeah, you when kind you, of played it when you threw Daniels around and then shot a hole. Yeah. In the police station. Yeah, they know about that. They know it's not a trump card if they know about it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, yep. So, um, then it's just like again, powers training, huh? Yeah. <sighs> but here's a, a, the most important question. I mean, how, there's no answer to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. How did he eat in chains? Uh, yeah. Also, how did he put a shirt on? That was my other one. It's like, um, how like, did he take his shirt off and then put a new one on? off with restraints on? Yeah. How did he do that? It's like Velcro underneath or something like that. Yeah, so it just. He, he's he just he, kinda, he he's just got a stripper it, shirt. He can drop it on over his head. Yep. And then he fastens it on the sides or something like that. And, because and it's sleeveless. Yeah. So it just tears straight down the center. Or something like that, because I was like, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, the, just, no. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, that's just like, so, your thoughts on him, not his powers and not being able to use them. Okay. And your overall there, thoughts there, on that. There is like, some explanation. You know, yep. he didn't learn properly, so, you know, all he knows is, you know, to do the energy stuff is he has to put his hands together. Yes. So, okay. It makes sense that, you know, they keep his hands apart. All right. That totally works. It's telekinesis. (laughs) Uh, All I'm saying is proper telekinesis would just basically be like, Hey, yeah. See the bolts that are holding that up there. Yeah. I'm going to unscrew one. Oh, wait. I also need to use my hands? What? Well, there it is common a trope yes. for telekinesis to start with the hands. Yes. And then you can eventually grow into not needing your hands. But at the same time, all you'd have to do is just be like, all right, I'm going to point at it. And whoop, 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 dumb. Well, maybe he can't, couldn't see it. But, but here's the thing. like, um, He's kind of... Uh, we already know he still can use it because he, can, with all of his strength and telekinesis, he, he couldn't, couldn't pull them down. But so, how is he pulling? Is he using? Is he grabbing? <sighs> pulling? I, he's turned his hands to grab onto the. Yeah, chain. he's just like pull, pull. And he, like his, did he find a way to wrap his hands around so he could then grab on it? So additional strength. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. But how is he pulling when his arms are up here for most of the day? Yeah, no blood. Uh, also, yeah, his hands should be really numb. He yeah. should have like really bad feet. Yes. Um, <laughs> at this point, is he using his telekinesis inward to keep the blood to go f- focus to flow up there so he doesn't get gangrene? Yeah. Um, from lack of circulation or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is. I think that when it came to this scene, is I wanted him captured, but I didn't also want them to have um, the fall into trope that when you, in something like this, you have the government hunting someone with powers to have the technology to deal with them. Yes. Which is always the situation. Maybe the, show, uh, the comic, the movie, the TV show will start off with it looking like they don't have the technology, but then all of a sudden, magically, they've always, they, or this other group has ha- has it. Yep. I didn't really want that, I think is the reason why. So I didn't want him to damper the powers 
because I didn't have him trained. Like, how is he going to do this without his powers? Uh, but at the same time, I had to find a way to limit it. Yeah. This is one of those things where I have to go in and focus, make it very clear. He can only use his telekinesis uh, with through his hands. Well, I mean, you could also explain it that, you know, this organization is only capturing kids who either have the potential to unlock this Mm -hmm. or have unlocked it, but don't have any control over what they're doing. So, of course, they're going to be like, we can just put you in a box. And they're like, but I can create fire. And you're like, in a concrete box. Yeah. Good luck. Eventually, you can get it hot enough to break through it. You're gonna be dead beforehand. Yeah. Or you're gonna more because like, you're gonna suck all the oxygen. Yeah. Out. You're gonna kill yourself by taking all the. And we actually have an ability. We can shut down the oxygen into your room and just yep. seal it. And which then your flames are just nothing. <clears throat> and then you'll pass out. And yep. We'll just pump some more oxygen back in there, and you'll be all set again. So, uh, but it, it, no like, one. But see, no, that's, the, that's the thing. The idea, original idea, was no one else has this power. Yes. Only Skyler is the original person. I think at later points in the um, future sequels I had planned, was planning out, when I finished the story, mm-hmm. I do think I, you reveal that those other people before him or someone else beat him. Oh, absolutely. But that no one knew about it. He's just the one who went around, you know, attacking a, a detective with it and made it put a big spotlight. Hey, come after me. I have these powers. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, it was me trying to come up with a way without doing what I wanted them to, the trope is, but not knowing how to and pantsing the story yeah. to figure this out. Um, but yeah, if I was to rewrite this scene as it is, like it was, I'd set those limitations well in advance, but also, um, put it in a way, like, maybe they have the technology to, um, they don't have the technology to dampen or anything or deal with them. But they do have a. Oh, they have the technology to build a cell that inhibits. Right. Um. Maybe the chains go through the wall, and the way that the certain alloys that they've discovered prevents him to go reach in between it. Right. Or he can't. Another limitation: he can't reach beyond the barrier at this point. Um. It has to be within the field. I don't know. Yeah. But the other thing I have to talk about is. Energy doesn't kill guards after that. Yeah. How does energy work? Yeah. Because he slammed pure energy into the chest of someone. He's and then not, it bounced around the hallway. He's not going to knock... It's not going to hit him and knock him back. It's going to shoot right through him. Oh, oh, and we said that it exploded. Oh. Um, and it only knocked them down. Yeah. Bull, bull. You have... Body parts all over that yeah. hallway. That hallway is now black and red. See, I think the idea I was going with this um, was because I was going with more Dragon Ball Z type oh, yeah. Yeah. abilities. Which, uh, there's a, I can't remember the video is, but someone put a video out there that uh, um, provided proof that Dragon Ball Z is not energy. It's plasma. Using chi, he heat, you heat up the air around you to form plasma. Right. And you certain things like when another blast hits another blast, it bells in like plasma would. So that is the idea. But I'm saying energy, mm-hmm. um, in a sense. Which then again, if it's plasma, that's still gonna go right through the person because that's super yeah. heated. Like that's hot. Exactly. Unless there's some kind of barrier, you, you create up a, some kind of a barrier that prevents that around it. Um, but I don't provide that. It just. Nope. <laughs> and also hits the ground, explodes out. He's not knocked. Nope. But everyone else in the shadows rattles the building. The building. Yeah. I mean, that could be a tie-in with his telekinetic abilities. Yes. Is that the shock wave he was able to push down, so it went out. Yep. Instead of coming straight back up at him. Yeah, it's but it didn't. That's the thing. Yeah. Again. He's got way. He's got anime powers. Yeah, basically, they don't affect him when he uses them really close to himself, yep. and they won't kill somebody unless it needs to kill somebody. Because yep, the story demands that exactly. they kill someone, or he held back just enough. Yeah, he's always holding back. 
Right. I'm not trying to kill these people. I'm just trying to maim them so again. Then don't throw energy balls yeah. into people's chest. That's going to go right through them and everyone behind him. Hit the wall beside yeah. them <laughs> so they're thrown with it. Yeah. Yes, they may have some internal injuries, but you're not... You're not hitting them directly with a energy which could be radioactive or plasma or... I think it's you know. mentioned in a later chapter. Um, it talks about uh, how he sent so many um, people to the hospital. To the How Jenna found him was she was inside and heard about how many of these guards got sent to the emergency. They're all alive somehow. Yeah. Um, and then through there, she found out where he was. Because she couldn't just teleport because she didn't know where he was. He's in there. Oh, okay. Um, I think we'll figure that out. We're, we're told that. But yeah, just no... Up until this point, the energy worked great. And now we have some serious... The magic system is broken. It's already broken. Okay. Right, at least for the, ma- the, the, the energy part. The second, of it. T- second time it's really being used, and it's already, already broken. broken. Well, time <laughs> to wrap it up. That's yeah. it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. No, yeah. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> I clearly, this is the rule of cool. Oh, right. absolutely. So this, this chapter is really the rule of cool. I wanted something to happen, and I just didn't bother explaining it. Mm-mm. Again, having some kind of alloy or something that can yeah. uh, protect against it would allow for it to slide into it, and then it, the explosions to the flying without it doing that. But again, I didn't want that, or think of it that way. I right. wanted. Uh, I was thinking more about expression or just technology to capture people and fight back. But it could, the armor could have worked. Yeah. Because at least they're protecting themselves, hoping they can last longer because it's a kid. It's a 15-year-old, a 14-year-old, whatever fucking age this kid is because he keeps changing. Tomorrow he'll be 25, and uh, then he's going to be seven. Yep. Um, no, then he's going to be three. And then seven. And, and then 12 again. And then he's going to be an alien. What? Yeah. No. <laughs> So, but yeah, some of these little things could be easy there. Uh, before we wrap this up, Adam, your thoughts on Jenna popping in there and making the save? Pretty freaking cool, bro. Jenna came in like a damn ninja. The, you, you, you absolutely failed on your, what you were planning to do for Jenna. Oh, yeah. She, no, she hasn't. She was supposed to become super mysterious. Yeah, she was supposed to stop asking with a question mark. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm stuck with Jenna is permanent question mark. No, no, no. no. She will have, like, the wisdom of Yoda from now on. No, she Just should. Just all question marks. No, you should go back. You should go back to the original intent of no question marks. Just act like you never. But just go do it until we keep the question mark going until after. Because you said after we realize her powers come oh, out. Oh, yeah. You were going to do it. It's a flashback. We don't know how she got her powers. She has her powers now, but we don't know. So it hasn't happened, so you can... It's exactly. Like, yeah, now she has her power. But she had her powers. Shut up. I don't up. know what you're talking about. Shut up. That did not happen. I she... can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> I didn't know the knowledge at the time, okay? Uh, yeah. But he did. I did not. I do. I do. <laughs> but yes. Um, yeah, the whole ninja... The When do you see how she becomes the ninja? You're going to be like, what? She becomes super ninja. Oh, uh, you're going to be like, how? What is it with these teenagers be ki- this happening? <laughs> so, but do you have anything else you want to add to this chapter? Uh, no, no. It was an experience. But overall, it was actually fits for a chapter. Yes, it does. Uh, one of my concerns when I finished reading the, the book, when mm-hmm. I got to this chapter, I'm like, it felt a little too soon for the rescue to come right after that. But the logic behind how, when we find out how she found him... It makes sense oh, to yeah. come up so quickly, but it felt like there's a missed opportunity in a way that we could exp- expand him out there long. But clearly, at the time, I had no idea how to, because I was just like, the next part is the the rescue point of the children, the the other research subjects. Oh, but how do I keep him in? Oh, just rescue him. Just, just get him them. out of her. Yeah, let's figure out what's going on with Jenner and how she got her powers. Okay. Yeah, which is really how pantsing works. Yes, it for does. Some people. Some people is like, oh, I don't know. Let me go here, and then in their next draft, they'll fl- they will put it in a more correct spot or figure things out that, that way. Um, but yeah, uh, so with that, uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah, what is your thoughts of the Scholar Grant book so far? Have you been reading, following along the entire time, or is this your first chapter you've read through? 
Are you confused as fuck what's going on and how we got to this point? Don't worry, we're still um, confused because, and we've gone through all, all 23 chapters. Yeah. So, but comment down below uh, what your thoughts are. Make your prediction of where do you think is going? we're going next. How Jenner got her powers. Yeah. Um, and all of that. So, but yeah, let this down, down below in the comment section. And since you made it this fall, I'm assuming you enjoyed this podcast. So why not you go and hit that sus- not subscribe button? I keep wanting to hit, hit the subscribe button. No, I don't know. Smash the like button. Smash it. Destroy that thing with your mouse. As a prayer to the holy algorithm. Holy algorithm. And now subscribe because I know I have renting content on here. Of that writing content on screen now, I'll put the pl- link to the playlist for the All Skylar Grant in case you haven't listened to that yet, as well as a recommended video best suited for you. No matter which one you pick, um, we'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching.